So Sandy Bland is a young African American woman who was driving in from Chicago to Texas because she just gotten a job there, and uh, it was at her former uh, university where she now was going to have a great new job. She was happy about it. She gets pulled over uh, for not signaling as she turned. Oh, a grave, grave offense, I'm sure. Well, it depends on who's doing that offense, I suspect. So she gets pulled over by a guy named Encinia. Now, we have tapes of what happened next. So uh, these tapes were not fully released before. They are now. They're going to give you some context. Now, before we go to the tapes, uh, I should tell you that Sandy Bland has passed away. She didn't pass away during this interaction. Okay, uh, They put her in jail. She had never been in jail in the first place, as you're about to see. And authorities say she hung herself a couple of days later. What you're about to see happen on a Friday afternoon, she's found uh, dead in her jail cell Monday morning. Now, her family uh, doesn't believe that it was a suicide. Now, finally, the FBI is involved, and the local uh, prosecutors are saying, okay, okay, we're going to treat it as a homicide. That doesn't mean they think it is a homicide. They just think it's an open question, so they're going to reevaluate whether it was a suicide or not. But now let's go back to the arrest in the first place and see if it needed to happen. So here's the interaction when Officer Encinia pulls over Sandy Bland. Okay, ma'am. You okay? I'm waiting on you. you. This is your job. I'm waiting on you. What do you want me to do? Oh, you seem very irritated. I am. I, I really am. But I feel like it's crap for what I'm getting a ticket for. I was getting out of your way. You were speeding up, tailing me. So I move over and you stop me. So, yeah, I am a little irritated, but yeah. that doesn't stop you from giving me a ticket. So, let's get to it. Are you done? You asked me what was wrong and I told you. Okay. So now I'm done, yeah. Okay. You mind putting out your cigarette, please? Don't mind. I'm in my car. Why do I have to put out my cigarette? Well, you can step on out now. I don't have to step out of my step car. Step out of the car. He asked her a question. You see, Mary She said yes. Uh, and then she explained why. Now, you can say that she was cranky, but she wasn't shouting. Uh, she certainly wasn't physical in any way. She just simply explained what happened. And. Uh, and by the way, in case you didn't understand, she said, you were tailgating me, so I pulled over to the other lane to let you pass by. And that's when he pulls her over. Because as she was going from one lane to the other to get out of his way, she didn't turn her signal on. Oh, wow, that does seem egregious. Gee, I wonder why he pulled up so close to her in the first place and then for not signaling immediately pulls her over. Hmm. Who's looking for trouble here? Is she looking for trouble or is he looking for trouble? And then he says, put out the cigarette. Now, she's right. She doesn't have to put out the cigarette. Now, a lot of people here are going to step in and go, just listen to the officer. You won't have any trouble. But wait a minute. Now, why? Look, I know why. I, I, I probably would listen to the officer because I don't want to get my ass kicked because these cops will kick your ass for disrespecting them. But they don't have a right to do that. She's right. She can smoke the cigarette all she wants. And he says, okay, get out of the car. Boom, it's already over. He's totally at fault. Totally at fault. This confrontation didn't need to happen. Okay, let's say that you're meticulous and you're an anal person. You're like, oh my God, there was a violation. She didn't use her signal. Okay, that, he had to pull her over. Okay, fine. Oh, but he, had, he didn't have to ask her about the cigarette. He didn't have to ask her to start a confrontation. And he certainly didn't have to pull her out of her car. For what? Where's the violation? What, what does she do there? What do you mean get out of your car? Why? Why? He said, we're Americans. We do have some rights. I know that the common experience we have is as soon as a cop comes, you're supposed to get on your knees, right? And you're supposed to bow your head, right? Because you, you cops are dangerous. And you never know when they're going to kick your ass, right? Or maybe even worse. But we're supposed to have rights. We're not supposed to bow our heads. And, and not unreasonably, but she's being reasonable. She said, hey, look, you pulled me over. You asked me, and I told you, you pulled me over for no goddamn reason. She said it more politely than I just said it. Now all of a sudden, he's going to yank her out of the car. Who started this confrontation? All right, take a look at what happens next. Step no, out of the car. Have, no, you don't have the right. You step not, out of the car. You do not have the right to do that. I do have the right. Now step I out or I will take, remove you. I refuse you. to talk to you other than to identify myself. Step and out or I will remove you. I am getting removed for a failure. Step out or I will remove you. I'm giving you a lawful order. 
Get out of the car now, or I'm, I'm gonna remove lawyer. you. And I'm calling my I'm lawyer. I'm gonna yank you out of here. Okay, you gonna yank me out of my car? Get out. Okay. All right. 25. Let's, let's, let's do this. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Don't, don't touch me. Get not out of the car. Me. Don't touch me. I'm not under arrest. You don't have the right to say. You take are me under car. arrest. I'm under arrest for what? 25. For County FM 1098. Just for what? 290. Send me another unit. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Why am I being apprehended? You're trying to give me a ticket I said, for your get failure? out of the car. Why am I being apprehended? You I'm giving you a lawful order. order. You I'm going to drag you out of here. So you're going you to drag me out of my own car? Get out of the car. And then you I will light me? you up. Get out. Wow. Now. Wow. Get out of the car. Really for a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for get a failure Get over to there. Right, yeah. Yeah, let's take this to court. Let's do Go it. ahead. For a failure to signal. Yep. I'm going to yank you out, I'm going to drag you out, I'm going to light you up. I'm going to light you up, okay? And she says, what am I under arrest for? Great question. It's such a great question, he never answered it. The reality is, the biggest crime in America, disrespecting a police officer. It's not on the books anywhere, it's not an actual law, but you, you can kill people. I mean, Dylan Roof, the cops got him a, a burger from Burger King after they found him. He, he was on, a, there was a manhunt for him, he'd killed nine people in a church, they got him a burger. Because he didn't disrespect the police officers, he just turned himself in once they finally caught him, right? You disrespect the police officers, that's worse than killing nine people in a church. Okay, they're going to light you up. What am I under arrest for? Resisting arrest. But wait a minute, what was I resisting in the first place? Which arrest was I, re in fact, there was a, he had a little bit of a debate, you see later in the tape, Encinia did, should I uh, get, bring her in for resisting arrest or assaulting an officer? then he probably realized, oops, then I'd have to make up something else that she was resisting the arrest for. Because you'd have to add the resisting arrest to the original crime, but there is no original crime. Oops. So then he said, oh yeah, assaulting a police officer. Yeah. So now the next part is unfortunately out of the view of the camera, but you're still going to be able to hear them. So let's watch. You're about to break my wrist. Can you stop? You're about to fucking break my wrist. Stop! Stop now! Stop man, it! Stop resisting, man! If you would stop, and I would tell you! Oh, fucking now stop! You are such a pussy! You are such a pussy! No, you oh, are! You're yanking around! Full traffic signal! You are oh, yanking around! When you pull away from right. me, you're resisting you arrest! Really well, no, this please. make you feel real good, don't it? A female full right traffic right. signal! I got it! Full traffic I signal! I, I know that make you feel good, officer. Go I ain't seen it. I know it make you feel real good. You're a real man now. You just slammed me, knocked my head in the ground. I got epilepsy, you mother! Good. I hope good. I, good. You should have thought about that before you okay. start resisting. All right. All right. Yeah. This is real good. Real good for a female. Yeah. Y'all strong. Go ahead. Y'all real okay, strong. So. I want you to wait right strong. here. Wait right here. I can't go nowhere with your fucking knee on my back. Duh. I'm going to open your door. Okay. Oh my God, y'all. For a warning, for a warning, you're whatever. going to jail whatever. for resisting whatever. arrest. Stand up. I, if I could, I okay, can't roll even, over. I can't even fucking feel my arm. Tuck your knee in. Tuck your knee in. Yeah, I do. I, I I listen, I listen. You're gonna re sit up you on your butt. Slam my head into the ground. Sit you up on your butt. Listen to how he's telling you to get I up. I can't even hear. Yes, you can. He sit up on your butt. Slam my fucking head into the ground. Sit up on your butt. What the hell? Stand up. All of this for a traffic signal. I swear to God. All of this for a traffic signal. Thank you for recording. Thank you for a traffic signal. Slam me into the ground and everything. No. Everything. I hope y'all feel this good. This officer saw everything. I saw I, and I'm so glad to put that you just got on the scene. So no, whatever. I was, I no, you wasn't. Happened. You were pulling yeah. up. No, you didn't. No, ma'am. You didn't see everything you know leading what? up to it. I'm no. not talking to you. You don't have to. Now, in the original uh, tape that we saw was somebody recording on their cell phone from a distance. And so that you could see the knee in the back that she's talking about. You can't see him slamming her head into the ground, but she mentioned that uh, in that cell phone uh, footage as well. So you, you hear that, and they're uh, arresting her and cuffing her. They say uh, many times over resisting arrest. They never say what the arrest was for. What was the arrest for? Why were you arresting her in the first place? There's never an answer to that question, right? If you ask that question, you're further resisting arrest. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, I don't, I don't get it, man, because this is not within your perspective. You've never had this happen to you, right? So you, you just, you're, I, I think a lot of people are flummoxed by it, but black people get pulled over 
all the time for no reason, for something as minor and ridiculous as while switching lanes, not even turning, while switching lanes, not using your signal, and then it devolves into this. You never had it devolve into this because you never got pulled over in the first place. Okay, so now, and can you understand why people get tired of getting pulled over and having BS demands made of them over and over again, put out your cigarette, do this, you didn't do that right, and they're looking for a fight, looking for a fight, and if you look for a fight, you find a fight. And so he finally found his fight with this woman, and then he did all the things that he did to her, and then they put her, uh, put her in, in prison, and then she mysteriously died in prison. None of that had to happen if he didn't pull her over in the first place, but to me, much more importantly, if he didn't pick a fight in the first place, get out of the car, I'm going to yank you out of the car, I'm going to light you up. Why? Why? Oh, uh, you didn't listen to everything I said. I am God. Okay, but no, you're not. You're supposed to be a servant. You're supposed to be an officer here to protect us, the citizens. You're supposed to serve us. We pay you tax dollars to serve us, not to beat us. Okay, so now let's go to some of his explanation here before we go to the mysteriously edited tape. Uh, Encinia has said in an affidavit that Bland swung her elbows and kicked him when he put her in handcuffs. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on now. She swung her elbows and kicked him when he, that's conveniently the one part that's not on the tape, right? And he knows it's not on the tape because as soon as there's a situation, they have the cops watch the tape right away, okay? So they get their story straight. Now, why was she getting handcuffed in the first place? He doesn't answer that question, right? So, uh, Encinia also said, I, during the, the whole tape that you see here, it's a rather lengthy process. We, we boil that down the, uh, to the relevant parts here for you guys. He said at one point, I put you down because you kicked me. He also debated whether to charge her with resisting arrest or with assault. Now, wait a minute now. He put her down because you kicked me, but earlier you said that uh, she swung her elbows and kicked you when you were putting her in handcuffs. Hmm, doesn't sound like your story is very straight, does it? Okay, and uh, luckily there one good uh, news here is authorities have said Encinia violated protocol during the stop. He's been reassigned to a desk job until the investigation is complete. I sure hope this isn't protocol, although I've seen it all across the country and I feel like cops uh, are picking fights like this and if you ever dare to not give the exact, uh, you know, Answers that they want, where you're, in, you know, ingratiate yourself to them, and you, you know, you put out your hands like this and say, "Oh yes, officer, yes, officer." If you don't cry in front of them and do exactly as they tell you, I mean, yeah, they'll arrest you for no goddamn reason. That does seem like normal protocol to me in America, unfortunately. Now, finally, curious part here uh, of the dash cam, uh, we're going to show you a p uh, part of the video that the authorities put out that appears to be very clearly edited. The audio is going to be continuous, but we don't know what they, they did to the audio. But you'll see here, the tow truck get, stops, the guy gets out from the tow truck, a uh, white SUV goes by, and then you'll see it again right after. Watch. Put a sign, and, you know, and, and just explain to her what was going on, because I couldn't even, I couldn't even get to do what I was telling her. I mean, she just started going. This is an MF, and you give me an MF ticket for a lane change. I mean, she just started going. I just stepped back in the car. I was like, "Are you done, ma'am? I need to tell you why and what I'm giving you." And it just kept on going. I mean, I don't have seriously body injury, <laughs> you know, but I, but I was kicked. There's a question about whether that tape was edited. <laughs> we edit tapes all the time here. Trust me, that was edited. Okay, there's no question about that. Question is over. It's officially over. Now, why they did that edit, I don't know, right? Uh, did they also take out a part of the audio? Was he saying something else? Then that was removed. They didn't know how to fix the video. So I don't, or maybe it was an honest mistake. I have no idea. I do know it was edited. No question about that. Okay. So now, none of this answers how or why uh, she got killed that morning, right? So that's a different part of the investigation, very, very, very important. Uh, we don't have answers there either, so nobody should jump to conclusions. Having said that, none of that had to happen. She didn't have to be in that prison cell Monday morning if this cop hadn't pulled her over 
and then sort of they arrest her and yank her out of her car for no reason in the first place. This is the problem with the culture of policing in America. Okay, most important thing is for them to make sure that they are in charge and they feel powerful and who they normally take it out on the most, the powerless. That often happens to be minorities, but certainly not exclusively. If you're powerful, you think they're going to do that to you? And they're going to pull over a Bentley in Beverly Hills and do that? Hell no. Okay? Are they going to do that in the middle of Texas to someone who has no power? Unfortunately, time and time again. And in this case, it was Sandy Bland, and in this case, the end was tragic.